Well, what's up guys? You guys seem to like the first video, so here is video number two. I only have uh, two packages today. Kind of small. I don't know what's in these. Uh, mount for snowboard. So, I mean, I could go to Home Depot or Lowe's and probably pick up these mounts and make it myself, but essentially this is a rubber, I don't know, rubber post, I guess, should I say? And it's gonna post into the wall, left and right, and I can mount the snowboard right in the middle. As you guys know, I'm a huge snowboarder. I love snowboarding, and uh, there's no cooler way than to display my snowboard on the wall. A glass protector from Amazon for my new iPhone 7. This is from China. This is actually my lights for my mountain bike. I used to buy my um, mountain bike lights on Amazon, but I have come across a website called AliExpress.com. It's basically like Alibaba, but you can buy smaller quantity parts, whatever you may need. And I got these lights for like, I don't know, five bucks. Can't remember how much I paid for it, but super cheap, dirt cheap. When I figured out, that there's a website that sells cheap Chinese stuff. I literally spent all night, I think I was up to like 4 a.m. that night, and it was like a Tuesday night, just looking for all these different gadgets and products that I can buy and waste my money on. This is a dual lens, high powered LED with external backpack for the battery. Let's see if I can turn it on right now. Yep, really, really bright. So inside the package was also this tail light for the mountain bike. This actually came with the package for free, which is kind of nice. I already have one, but I'll probably mount it. It has different functionalities, blinking, UFO type deal. Look at all these options it gives you. And what's kind of cool is this laser option. So it's got two options, LED and laser. And laser gives you like a lane control type feature. You see the, the uh, two laser lines that spreads across. So I guess you can uh, mount this on the back of your um, uh, mountain bike or road bike, should I say, and let people know to stay the hell out of your lane. I'm not gonna be using this feature on my mountain bike, but that's kind of cool. Or maybe I will, who knows. I like to mess around uh, with my friends on the trails. All right, what's up guys? I got a couple packages here. So this is another product from AliExpress, my new favorite website and it's just a gel padding for my mountain bike it was like literally three dollars you can't beat it for the price quality seems okay but you know what it's gonna keep my butt from hurting here's another big box this is from best buy so it's probably gonna be one of those gadgets um, i bought a bunch of stuff on black friday so i think those are starting to come in now This is actually my new security camera setup and uh, all these gadgets and toys around my house. I figured I'll upgrade my security system around the house. This is the Arlo from Netgear. I always have a security camera inside my house but I never really had one for the outside of the house. So this will protect me from the outside. It's got four different cameras. So I'm gonna put one in the garage, one outside of the garage, one at the front door, one in the back door. These are pretty cool because it's uh, it's battery powered, so you don't have to wire anything in. So if you wanna install this in your apartment or you know outside where running a wire is a kind of a somewhat difficult task, you can run this, and you will only start recording when the motion is detected. It's look at this magnetic mount so what you have to do is drill this piece in the wall and then you just mount this magnetic piece and that's it you, you can adjust as needed and all the data from the camera is going to be sent to this router device and that's going to upload the information to the cloud so i can access the information when i'm not home from my cell phone as well so neat little device i'm gonna maybe do a quick video of this once it's installed in the house this is just where the technology is going you know it's like electric vehicles home automation 
is the next big thing and I think everybody's gonna have it. I mean Netgear is in the game already. Whoever saw. Well I already know what's inside this. I have the um, Lenovo Yoga for a long time and now that I'm getting ready for my winter travels to Hawaii and back to Japan what I want to do is start editing videos on the go on the laptop and Lenovo Yoga just wasn't cutting it the onboard graphic card wasn't that great and um, the computer being three years old was starting to slow down a bit so I decided to upgrade during Black Friday to a Dell XPS 15. I went with the 15 inch and it's not the 4K resolution version because I don't even need that um, 4K resolution feature. I'm not gonna be watching movies on here or anything and I won't be editing using 4K either. I'm gonna be 1080p uploads for quite a while. So here is the Dell XPS. What's cool about this is that it's got like a carbon fiber padding area here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And the bezel goes to the edge of the screen. So it gives you that edgeless type feel when you're using the laptop. Okay guys, I got two packages today from Amazon. Probably something stupid, but let's see what's in here. This is a cable for my new iPhone 7 because if you guys are not familiar with the new iPhone 7s, they got rid of the audio 3.5 millimeter input cable. So in order to listen to music, you're gonna have to use this 3.5 millimeter adapter from the lightning cable. But if you do that, I realized that you can't charge the phone and listen to the music at the same time. So this, what, this is what allows you to charge and listen to the music at the same time. I got here JDM Bass Salt. Um, as a Japanese dude, I take a lot of baths, especially in the winter time to keep myself warm. And this is basically a whole bunch of, it's like a value pack, right? It's got all these different uh, scents and you just put a pack in your bathtub and it creates this awesome scent for your bath time. For me, going to the hot springs in Japan is like, uh, it's just part of me and part of my genetics. If it's cold, I go to onsen, which is the hot springs in, uh, in Japan. I just have socks. I buy everything on Amazon. Just got home from work. Got another package. Uh, today I got this from JDM A-Star. Every time I see a package, Sent to Caesar Media, I know that it's from my sponsors. So let's check it out. Package inside the package. Bam! Holy crap! Look at this heavy duty LED lights. So these are actually the LED reverse lights that's gonna go in the truck. So when I pull the truck in reverse, this thing will shine everything behind me. Man, this is a beautiful piece. It's not some Chinese junk here. The front got actually a lens inside, which I've never seen on my LED board before. And uh, yeah, it's very, very durable construction. Looking forward to installing this piece. Few more packages. So I got here a uh, Netgear wrench extender, which came in a box which was already kind of destroyed. Nice packaging, eBay. And look at this, nothing on it. I guess it's for protection. The wireless router I got in this earlier episode was garbage. It kept dropping connection every 15 minutes and it was supposed to extend Wi-Fi range and it didn't. So I decided to return that and I got this nice little piece instead. I went back to my stock, or pre stock, I'm such a car guy. I went back to my old uh, Netgear Wi-Fi router and I'm gonna be installing this little range ext extender thing. It just plugs into the outlet and I'll see how this works. Bathing suit. Bathing suit was another one of those things that got lost. I'll be going to Hawaii this Christmas before I go to Tokyo and I'll be wearing this. And, uh, oh, this isn't mine. This is the Canon EFS 1755 for my D70 camera that I've been using to 
film all your videos. I used to use my uh, 5D Mark II, which is obviously more beefy and professional, and this is a full frame lens, so quirky is a lot better, but it doesn't really have good autofocus system, and it's just so heavy. To be honest guys, if you're starting out in YouTubing or vlogging and you're looking for a new camera, you don't need anything like a 5D Mark II. In fact, you don't even need a Canon 70D that I use, which I highly recommend by the way. I love this camera. Um, you just need to buy something that's gonna be cheap and easy to use. Do I even need to unbox this one? It's a 55 inch TV I got on Black Friday sale for $350 I think. Uh, I'm not a big TV watching guy, I don't even have cable. I spend most of my time on my triple monitor gaming PC, making videos and watching YouTube. So I don't really watch TV and I don't really need a 55 inch TV to be honest. But I have my 30 inch TV for a couple years now and I figured it's a good time to upgrade because I found a deal. And I started playing a PS4 game called Watch Dogs 2 and it's been fun. So I figured I'll upgrade my gaming system a little bit. So I got a package from Evo.com and no, it's not the Evo that you guys are thinking of. Evo actually sells um, snowboarding and ski goods. I'm just looking for my knife here. I guess I'll use my Zecto knife. And I know what's in here but I'll show you guys what's exactly... Oh wow, what a waste of packaging space. And I think another reason why I'm gonna like this video series is because I can show you guys who don't live in the United States how wasteful Americans are when it comes to packaging. I mean, one third of this bag is not needed. So as you can see, it's a new snowboarding bag because the one I have right now is ripped off from my recent trip to Vancouver to Whistler and uh, it was time for me to upgrade. My old bag looks like this. It had holes in it, it was all ripped off, and it was time for me to upgrade. More Amazon stuff. That's right, sexy underwear. So, story behind this is that I actually lost a lot of luggage, a lot of clothing, because Air Canada lost my luggage from my recent trip to Vancouver so I'm rebuying all my clothes that I lost on my flight and yeah I needed boxers so I got boxers for those of you who are wearing your regular boxers that you wore as a teenager these cotton boxers are super comfortable and I think I'm wearing one right now and yeah if you want to impress your ladies buy one of these another Amazon box all right, more gadgets. So this, I believe, is my new modem. I just recently upgraded my uh, speed with Comcast, which I absolutely dislike. I figured I'll upgrade my router and modem while at it. So these are the modems. It's, I think it's good up to like 900 megabytes per second, which is awesome. So I can surf the web and upload YouTube videos even faster than before with instead of my shitty Comcast modem that I used to have. Uh, I think these are iPhone cables, iPhone charger cables. I'm an Android guy so all my chargers around the house and in my car are um, Android USB Type-C chargers so I'm replacing all that and lastly I have a router as well and uh, this is gonna be super quick supports up to 1300 megabytes per second I can't believe I just spent like a minute talking about boxers whoever saw Caesar Media would talk about underwear on this YouTube channel okay so here is my shaver and again because all my package was lost from Air Canada I had to get another shaver this is the exact same thing I used to use it's very nice it's got its own like uh, cleaning system with water inside and it keeps it nice and clean and it's got its charging station looks awesome so let's see what's in here so you got the shaver which comes in a nice bag 
charging station, uh, cleaning water supply for the charging station itself. And no, of course not, it's not charged. But nice and fancy, good shaver. And I got, <laughs> good thing that wasn't my iPhone or anything. And I got my toothpaste. And this is the last package for the day. Oh, I got this big box. I think I know what's in here. It's my suitcase. Because obviously when my bag went lost, let me think. I lost my suitcase with it. So this is my new suitcase by Nautica. It's a brand I have never really heard of, but this is this looks nice, right? Nice and carbon fiber-ish looking, but I got it on Amazon for like $80. So that's it for today, guys, for the unboxing video series. You guys seem to like my unboxing video, actually. The first video, uh, last time I checked, like, had like 5,000 views, which is actually pretty good. That's like more than my FD build videos get sometimes. So I'm like, should I just start unboxing, uh, unboxing packages instead of filming my FD build? Hmm. But no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna continue filming my FD build series. But yeah, with 5,000 views, that's a clear indication that you guys like my unboxing video. So I'm gonna keep doing this. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, of course, leave in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next unboxing video.